Welcome to this third session on MicroFocus's True Web Protocol. In this video, we will cover the script generation process via the proxy recorder. We will record a simple business flow using the proxy recorder and export it to an HAR file. We will start by downloading the proxy recorder from the MicroFocus application delivery marketplace. There are three flavors of proxy recorder, Windows, Linux, Ubuntu, and Mac OS. The proxy recorder is cross-platform, so you can download the flavor which is appropriate for your operating system. However, for this video, we will be demonstrating using Windows. Refer to the documentation appropriate for your operating system for more information. To use the proxy recorder, we install it by extracting the zip file to a directory on the machine. First, we set the certificates that will be used for HTTPS recording. Note that this step is not required if you just want to record HTTP. The different certificates are located in the CERT folder. We provide several default certificates which can be used if no private certificate is available. You can use your own certificates by registering the path to the certificate in the custom CERTs variable in the local config YAML file. Now, after we've decided which certificate we want to use, we set it using the Windows tool, certutil.exe. Let's open command as administrator. We will use the default true web certificates that we provided in the cert folder. We continue by setting the proxy recorder as the proxy that the machine will use for its outbound communication. The settings must match the host and port defined in the local config YAML file located in the installation directory. The default host is localhost and default port is 8156. One way to set the proxy is via the proxy settings configuration screen of Windows. Other operating systems have a similar way to define a system-wide proxy. You can also define the proxy directly from the browser, if a browser is used. In case we need the corporate proxy to access the application under test, we will need to set the corporate proxy inside the proxy settings. We do so by uncommenting the whole section and writing the proper host and port. If needed, we can also add the user and password that needs to be passed to the proxy. We are ready to record the business process. It is recommended that you use the private browsing mode of the browser or incognito mode in Google Chrome, or disable the cache in regular mode. After the message appears, we can start the flow in the browser. Open Chrome in incognito mode. Once finished, we press enter once in the command and wait for the process to finish. The resulting HAR file can now be converted to a true web script using the offline generator. Please review the previous video to learn how to do that. Once you are satisfied with the HAR file, revert the proxy settings of the machine to their original state. Thank you for watching this video about generating an HAR file using the proxy recorder. You are invited to watch our next video, Basic Scripting with TrueWeb.